It's New Year's Day, 1967, and some of the major news stories we've got coming up this year include Muhammad Ali being stripped of his boxing world titles for refusing to join the American Army, the first ever Super Bowl being contested, the battery-powered smoke detector being invented but not being made available until 1969, and the big massive one today is Bobby Moore getting an OBE in the New Year's Honours list. Let's hope the traffic isn't too bad coming out of Buckingham Palace because we've got a massive game today at home versus Liverpool. <laughs> Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 4 of More to Win, my West Ham United series on the 1966-67 database that has of course been created by the mad scientist. His links, as ever, will be down below so you can give this database a go yourselves. And yep guys, big, big, massive game today at home versus Liverpool. We are fifth in the league. They are second. A win for us today takes us on to 40, 41, 42 points. So that would put us really back in with a hunt of at least getting second because we'd only be four points behind Liverpool. So that would be very nice. And the transfer window's opened. So if there's any players on this database or from back in the 60s that you want me to have a look at, please do let me know in the comments section. And so let's have a look at our results since the last game, or the last video even, which was of course against Man United. We won that one 1-0. Trevor Brooking with a quite majestic solo goal, winning us that one. And then after that... We played Nottingham Forest, and this was a belter of a game. 4-3. It kept on swinging one way and then the other. And they was 1-0 up. We then equalised to make it 1-1. Hinton made it 2-1. Then 3-1. But we came back in the second half, and we ended up winning it in the 83rd minute, thanks to the youngster, Roger Cross. That might have been his first goal for the club. Yes, it was. And so he's finally got his first goal. And what a time to get it to win an absolute belter of a game. And then we lost the next one to Burnley. 1-0. And as you can see, really nobody performed that well. It was just one of those games where the lads just didn't show up. No idea why. But we moved on very quickly. And then we got a 4-2 win against Newcastle but the bit that made me laugh is Peter Noble someone called Noble scoring a penalty against West Ham that's just not on that's just not right but thankfully we was able to get our revenge we was able to win the game 4-2 and then we played Birmingham in the League Cup quarter final Birmingham I believe are a second division team yes they are and we was lucky enough to get the win there. Three goals to one. They did take the lead. But after we equalised, we was pretty much in control of the game. And it did take us a little while longer than I would have liked to take the lead. But we did get the lead in the 78th minute. And then Jeff Hurst just made absolutely sure in the 93rd minute. So that has booked us a place in the League Cup semi-final against Nottingham Forest. Which, if those two games are anything like the one we had in the league, it'll be an absolute classic episode that in a couple episodes time. And then after that one, we lost 2-0 to Sheffield United. Again, another one where we just didn't show up. Not sure if the lads were still a little bit tired after the League Cup game or what, but we just never got into it. So we just move on quickly from that. We got a 1-1 draw against Leeds, which is an okay result. Leeds are 8th in the league, so we might have been hoping to get a little bit better of a, better of a result, but 1-1, one, one, 
we we equalised in the 86th minute. So, yeah, decent result there. Thank God we got out of there with a point. And then our last game, we really come back into form. I'd noticed that Johnny Byrne hadn't been playing that well in his last few games. So I had a word with him and Martin Peters, who both of them, they'd been slacking off in the last few games. So I had a word with him. I said to him, Oi, pick it up, lads. And, well, Johnny Byrne really did, didn't he? A hat-trick there. 14th minute goal, 45 plus 1, that equals 46 if my maths is correct. He got a goal then and he got a penalty in the 78th minute. And old Harry Redknapp, or young Harry Redknapp as he would be now, he got a goal as well in the 22nd minute. And Martin Peters got an 8.3. So let's hope that that little kick up the arse I gave him is going to help us today versus Liverpool. This is the team for the game today. McElworth in goal. Burkitt, Moore, Brown, Charles as the back four. Bovington, Brookin and Boyce in the middle of the park. And then Peters and Braybrook on the wings as ever. And Johnny Byrne up top. Can he add to his 18 goals today? Alright guys, game's just about to kick off. Liverpool, as you would expect, are the favourites. They have won four of their last five, whereas we've only won three and we've lost one and drawn one. And we have already played Liverpool this season and they did beat us earlier in the year, unfortunately. But hopefully we can set that right today. Here we are, guys. Liverpool going with a 4-5-1. Lawrence, Stevenson, Hughes, Smith and Lawler is their back five. And then Thompson, Milne, Strong, Ian Callahan, Wilson is their five in the midfield. And then Hunt up top. How many goals has Hunt scored this year? 17 goals. That's going to be difficult. But let's hope we can keep him quiet. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. We owe Liverpool after what happened in the last game. Most of them are motivated. I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to make an early prediction. 2-1 to the Cockney boys is what I'm saying. Right, five minutes in. First highlight of the game. Corner goes out to Hunt. He's taken a shot. He's taken a deflection. And thankfully, we've got the ball away. But that throw in is immediately another highlight. Goes to Strong. He crosses it out to the other side of the pits. Stevenson into Milne. And can we please win this back? Nope. Stevenson. Into Callahan in the centre of the pitch. To Thompson. To Callahan again. And we're just not closing down here. Stevenson's got some space out wide. He's crossed it in. Hunt with the shot. And that's 18th goal of the season for Roger Hunt. And we are 1 0 down. Early days. Let's have a look at this again on the replay. Stevenson with the cross. And Roger Hunt, once he had that space, he was never going to miss that, was he? 18 minutes gone now. Callahan with a corner. And Strong with a header. And that goes over the bar. 25 minutes gone. Now it's our turn to have a corner. Ball falls to Brooklyn, who's shot. It goes against Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore with the goal. His first of the season. Yes! Finally, Bobby Moore has scored on the series, named after him. And what a finish it was, considering he's a defender. A volley, a cracking goal there. Two minutes later, though, Liverpool trying to spoil the party. And the ball goes over the bar from that free kick. 35 minutes gone, Bovington with a corner. Callahan heads away. And it's going to be Johnny Byrne to get the ball first. Striker is a lot deeper than I would like him to be. Brown with the ball into Moore. And to Brown again. To Charles. And he goes over the top. And can Peters get to it? No, he can't. Strong now. Callahan. Strong. Come on, please. Let's win it. Oh! That's an awful back pass. <laughs> Liverpool have just gifted us the lead in this game. And Johnny Byrne with his 19th of the season. And by 
far his easiest. What on earth was strong thinking there? Oh my gosh, we'll take that all day long. Just about seven minutes to go until half time. Burkitt to Peters. And Peters with the ball goes to Brown. And now can he find a teammate again? He goes over the top. And Johnny Byrne unable to get onto that. But he wins it on the second ball. Boyce now. Play it out wide. Nope. Milne wins it back for them. And now it's Liverpool on the attack here. Hunt's in. Hunt with the shot. And that's a great save from the keeper. Just coming up to half time. Hunt with the ball out wide. He's crossed it in. And Thompson nods the ball wide. Wow, what a first half that was. Was not expecting to be back in the lead when they took such an early lead themselves. We've had 12 shots to their 16. 7 on target to their 6. And 57% of the ball to 43%. And guys, just before we get into the halftime team talk, I just want to give you guys an opportunity to be a part of the series. As you know, it's January 1st today. So we're, what, a couple months away from the youth intake. And what I would like is if some of you guys want to be involved, if some of you guys want to be a player that comes in through that youth intake, please do let me know down below or on Twitter as well the link for that will be down below as well yeah let me know your name and what position you want and i will assign you a player in the youth intake so you can be a part of this very famous west ham team and now let's go into the team talk let's go passionate uh things are going well but i know you're capable of even better not much reaction there I have faith, I have faith, and I have faith. And let's go into the second half. Can we please keep this result going? Ten minutes into the second half, Burkitt with a throw in for us. Peters to Brooking, and Brooking plays a nice ball there to Burn. He's got a man out wide if he can find him. He's tried there, but I think that's a bit too much for Braybrook to get on. And now Stevenson with the back pass to Lawrence, and he clears it out wide. Thompson nods it in to Strong. Milne now just inside our half. Thompson with the ball again. Back to Ian Callahan. To Thompson. They're keeping the ball very nicely here. Wilson out wide on the right with the cross. Hunt with the header. And that goes over the bar. Alright guys. Just for the next 5 to 10 minutes. This is how we're going. 4-5-1. No subs yet. But I, I am thinking about taking Peters and Braybrook off. 75 minutes gone. 15 minutes remaining. Burkitt with the ball into Peters. Plays it inside to Bovington. And can he find a mate? He does. Burkitt has it again. We're keeping the ball very nicely. Or at least we was. And their guy Byrne heads the ball away. But only as far as our man Boyce. Johnny Byrne there. He's trying to turn a defender. He's gone for the shot. And 3-1. Johnny Byrne has his 20th of the season. And we're only in January. Oh, my days. That is a goal, a game almost in the league. Boyce with it. And let's see this pass here. Byrne took, his, took round his man and just absolutely volleyed it home. And that should be game over. Wow. What a result. Oh my days. 3-1 versus Liverpool. Very even game according to the stats. I think you can say. Because we had 19 shots to their 23. 13 on target to their 7. And 56% of the possession. So maybe we did deserve to win it. And that's a very good performance. Let's go and say hello to the lad. Uh, that was special, lads. Nobody gave us a chance. And yeah, delighted. All right, so that result has left us fifth in the table. But look how close the league is. Pretty much from us up. We've got Everton in fourth on 43 points. We've got Arsenal on 44. Liverpool, who we just beat, on 46. And Chelsea... They're kind of a little bit away from us, but it's only seven points. 
weirder things have happened, bigger gaps have been bridged in football. So could we be looking at a league title win this season? Who knows? But let's have a look, see where we're going to come back. And we're going to come back straight away for the next game. In the next episode, we're going to take on Chelsea in the FA Cup third round. And then the episode after that is going to be the Nottingham Forest double header in the League Cup semi-final. So if you're looking forward to them games, please do subscribe to the channel for more FM19 content. And if you've enjoyed this one, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Thank you to everybody for all the likes and all the views and all the subscriptions I've had since I've started this series. It really has been amazing to see. So thank you all so much for that. And like I said at half time of the game, if you want to be involved in this series, if you want to be a youth player coming through the youth intake, please do just give me your name down below and what position you want and I will assign you a player and yep follow me on Twitter as well twitter.com slash bad jokes gaming and yeah I think that's just about everything I've got to plug oh the FM creators podcast I don't know why the logos disappeared but it has it that's the link for that is going to be down below as well and so yep guys I shall see you next time for the Chelsea game in the FA Cup. See you later.